All right. I'm a little late on this. The first round of the NHL playoffs, the Stanley Cup playoffs, have already started. I'm a little bit too late on this, but it's okay because I'm making predictions on the remain on the remainder of these series and beyond and talking about these matchups. Um, first off, let's talk about the Carolina Hurricanes and the New York Islanders. That game was the first game on Saturday. 3-1 Hurricanes, again, you know, a tough, tough matchup for the Islanders, who I don't think, you know, really is, you know, all that. They're not really that, you know, type of team. They rallied well enough, but ultimately I just don't think, you know, Bo Horbat, Barzal, and company, I don't think they have enough to stop, you know, this, this unit for Carolina, which does not shoot the – Puck a lot. They do not shoot a lot. That ever very defensive team, you know, and they got a lot of guys: Aho, Pesky, Skyji, Nekas, Jarvis. I mean, just an absolute really, really good unit. Really good defense. Really good everything. They know how to keep the puck away. They know how to play keep away. They know how to shoot the puck smartly with their guys. You know, it may not be the prettiest hockey. But I've been impressed watching, you know, Carolina see and uh, uh, kept up with the NHL playoffs and stuff last year. And I was impressed due to gambling. Um, and I was very impressed. You know, I was like, oh, OK, you know, they don't shoot the puck a lot. But, you know, they're they're winning. They're winning games on the Bruins, you know, with Pasternak and company going up against Toronto and Marchand and, and McAvoy and DeBrusque, you know. I mean, this is and this is a really good team in Boston. You know, I think they don't they as long as they don't implode on themselves in a matchup against Toronto, which you know Austin Matthews is going to do everything in his power. You know, along with John Tavares, they're going to do everything in their power to for Toronto anyway. They're going to do everything in their power to, you know, make this series a good one. But Boston beat the brakes off of a 5-1. I feel like this is more of a mismatch than anything. You know, I feel like Boston's going to take this series and Toronto fans will be crying tears yet again. Um, Florida beat Tampa Bay 3-2. And, I mean, Nikita Kucherov, you know, has been on a absolute tear, you know, I mean, this is this is a this is a really really good Tampa Bay team, but they have a really good Florida team. You know, Barkov, Chuk, Ekbad, Reinhardt, Verhage, Sam Bennett, Sagey Bobrovsky. You know, the absolute units in the cage. It, it, it this this Florida team could go back to the Stanley Cup final. They could go back. You know. But I don't, I don't know, I don't know if they will. But it, it, again, this is going to be one hell of a good a- East for the most part. Um, now, the Capitals should be here. Ovechkin's, you know, still in this thing for the long run. But the Rangers, you know, with Matt Rimpy and company, you know, um, Lafreniere, um, Timmy, you know, Panarin. Trocheck and Zibanejad. I mean, just just an absolute, really, really good Rangers team. You know, they won the um, President's Cup, so that's one thing to keep an eye on. But Igor Shekerstein, you know, has been a guy in the cage. He has been a guy in the cage, absolute unit in the cage. Um, Lindgren's gonna have to, you know, get some help from some of these guys. You know, Ovechkin again only had. You know, he didn't shoot on Saturday. He didn't shoot the puck on Saturday. You know, same thing. TJ Oshie, he didn't really do anything. He didn't do anything on Saturday. And I mean, um, the, the Capitals have to get some shots off. They got to get more than 20 shots off. They got to rattle Bobrovsky, you know, everything like that. Um, the Avalanche, the Jets, Colorado, and Winnipeg. I know that went. That was an absolute game. You know, Kale Mocker, Nathan McKinnon, the other absolute unit who knows how to shoot the puck. You know, you know, Miko Ransonen, you know, I mean, this is this is Avalanche team, you know, can go 
and it, this one went to the absolute end. Seven to six in the first game. The Jets, you know, are a team that, you know, I don't think a lot of people had them here. You know, I don't think a lot of people had them here, but you know, with to fully, you know, on this team, you know, the debtor, you know, I'm probably saying names wrong. Forgive me. You know, the Jets are kind of surprised me because they don't really have that type. They don't really have the type of team that I think could go very far. And the Avalanche, you know, kind of do. But it's like at the same time, Jets got home ice. So for the first couple games. So I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, and the Bruins... Uh, Maple Leafs game is going on right now. There's eight minutes and 30 seconds left in the third period. And the Islanders Hurricanes game, Islanders are up three to one. So Maple Leafs just got the lead. So um, we could see one to we could see a one to one series by the end of the night for both of these two games. Anyway, the Stars and the Golden Knights, uh, you know, March Assault. Um, um, Alex P, you know, I mean, just this Golden Knights unit, you know, yeah, they're the eight seed, but do not underestimate them at all. But the stars, the stars, the stars, my Dallas stars, oh boy. J Rob and company, Jason Roberts, and Tyler Sagan, you know, I mean, I mean, this is an absolute, this is a really, really good stars team. That could do some things. So we will see how this game, this series goes. Starts tonight. It actually, we'll be starting up in a few minutes and everything like this. And as these other games go final, um, the LA Kings and the Edmonton Oilers are the last series to start. That'll start about nine o'clock Central Time. You know that series with a good old with 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 a good old boy Evander Kane. You know. And McDavid, Connor McDavid, you know, the Kings got some guys too. Kings got some guys like Fiala and everything like that. You know, the, I don't, I don't really buy the Kings as much, or everything, but you know, maybe Byfield, you know, can do something. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know because like the Oilers, you know, they, they, they've been on a tear. This is a team that I think can do some things. I can, they can do some damage. So, so you're probably wondering what what do you think, big boy? What do you think is going to happen? Because you didn't really have the time to you know really you know sit down and digest all these matchups before the playoffs start. So, what do you think? What do you think is going to happen when it comes to the Stanley Cup Final? Well, you're not going to believe this, and not going to believe this, but I think my Stanley Cup Final is going to be. Let me get a let me get something here. Get something, you know. It will be the Stanley Cup final for me. I think is going to be something that you know a lot of people, a lot of people may not pick. A lot of people are picking Vancouver to make the final and everything like that. I just don't see it. You know, some people are picking my Dallas Stars. It may be their time, but I don't know yet. I don't know yet because, like, again, there's the the, the 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 bad thing is is that playoff hockey is unpredictable. That's the bad thing. Playoff hockey, hockey is completely unpredictable it's to the point where it's like I, I don't even know what in the world this could be. You know, like, what in the world kind of matchup are we getting? And I'll tell you. This matchup might be a complete, you know, crapshoot for some people, but this is what I think we're getting. I think we are getting Carolina and Edmonton in the Stanley Cup final. And my Stanley Cup champion, the guys who will host that host that big old trophy up, will be, you know, Evander Kane, Hunter McDavid. And those Edmonton Oilers, I think a Canadian team is going to win the cup. I think a Canadian team is going to win the cup. I know. I know. A lot of people are probably going to be like, that's that's not right. That's not right. As one kid would tell me, that's not right. You know, 
But I don't, I don't know. This could go completely wrong. And again, I'm, a, I'm three days late on this, three to four days late on this. So forgive me, y'all. Um, I'll come back to y'all in June, you know, when the Stanley Cup playoffs are over. Again, games are going on right now as we speak. So, you know, whenever some of these games go final and the other games get started, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. This is going to be one hell of a Stanley Cup playoffs. Absolute crapshoot. I don't even know what's going to happen. My prediction may even be wrong, you know, very quickly. It, it may go south in the first round. So what are y'all's predictions for these Stanley Cup playoffs? I know I've had some polls up for a couple of the series matchups, but uh, not all of them. So we'll see what happens <laughs> the rest of these games tonight and beyond in the first round and going forward. So that'll do it for me. Uh, whenever you see this is whenever you see this. So take care. Have a good night. And yeah, that's it for me. I did my triple header. <laughs>